Um, listen, I'm, I'm going to go to the word of the Lord because I know that uh, Pastor Mike got, um, he has a uh, Super Bowl plans and most of you all. Um, but um, I um, I was asking the Lord, Mr. Riddick, so, you know, what do, what do you say for, you know, a birthday, you know, celebration, you know, and uh, and so I was I was just perusing through the scriptures, prophet, and um, it was interesting that that you said you confirmed my message. You said that um, Jesus that was nearing well, he ended his ministry ended ended when he was thirty three. Um, but there is a particular text that's uh, that's kind of interesting, and, I, and I'm gonna preach to some preachers today. And uh, most of us, let's go to. Um, Let's go to Luke. Somebody say Luke. 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 Okay. Let's give God praise for that wonderful uh, ministry of music. Yes. Oh, I, 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 wanted to, I wanted to tell you, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. I, I don't need to preach today. They don't, they don't need to hear me. I think the uh, Wi Fi. strategies in this season, amen, yeah. to give us strategies on what to do in this season, because this is a season that we can't miss, God. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're in such a critical hour and critical season now, we cannot afford to miss God in this season, because guess what, we don't have time to recover. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. On, and it's yeah. not because of our chronological age, it's because of our spiritual destiny. Mm. God said, you can't afford to hook up with people that are not going where you're going. Come on, God. Yes, sir. Come on. So, I, 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 I'm, I'm asking God, and I'm asking you to ask God, God, give me, watch this, the, the strategy, give me, watch this, the roadmap that will lead to my prophetic destiny. Yes. yes. Because what God is doing in this hour, he's using people without titles. Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. Come on. yes. Come on, son. He, he, he using people, watch this, that are not on television. He using people, watch this, that don't care what's in front of their name, they just want to be anointed. Yeah. Yeah. It's the anointing that does what? Yeah. Yeah. Destroys the yoke. You're going to see yokes destroyed like never before in this hour and this season. Because God, watch this, is going to allow, whether it's a natural disaster or something catastrophic hot to happen, so that he can bring the people that are not saved to the church. Yes. Yes. And those of us that are saved, watch this, he's going to take us to another dimension. Well, watch this, when they, when they come, they're going to be looking for the, the demonstration of his power. Yes. They're not looking for entertainment. Come on, y'all cry. Yes. They're not looking to be entertained. They don't care yes. nothing about title. Yes. They don't want to care nothing about dressed in nice suits. Yes. All they want to do is see the presence and the power of God. Yes. Touch the neighbor and neighbor, we, don't, we just want to see his power and his presence yes. in the street. Yes. In our midst. Yes. In our midst. Yes. So, as we as a church begin to be get prepared for those persons, we, we have to let go of those things that are traditional. Yes. Amen. Let go of those things, watch this, that we used to do, but it had no meaning. That's why when you were telling us about the meaning of giving, I was impressed with that because we do a lot of things in the church 
We don't even know why we're doing it. Yeah. We're just doing it because somebody else told, yeah. told us we need to do it. Yeah. But God is about, watch this, right this down. God is about to move us into a dimension. Somebody say dimension. dimension. Not a season, because season come and they what? He's going to move us into a dimension, watch this, that, that's going to allow us, amen, to see his glory like never before. Amen. But it's going to be the churches that are what? That are praying, that are fasting, and, and watch this, that are, seek, that are seeking God's face. And in this hour, in this season, we need to seek God's face like never before. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, as I said that, I want to go to uh, Luke chapter 9 and um, verse number uh, 28. And I'm sorry, it's not my church, but I'm accustomed to it a little bit. If we could just stand... I promise you I won't read the whole Bible, the whole chapter. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to read um, 9 and 32 and 33. And I'm going to read, read it out of the uh, contemporary English version. You got to say, preacher, I found it. Preacher, I found it. If you don't have it, say, Lord, help me. <laughs> All right, we're going to wait on those people. Now, now it is in, it's, it's in the New Testament. <laughs> and if you, if you see your neighbor too far over to the left, help him out and bring him over to the right. Luke is in the New Testament. Amen. You got it? Yeah. Right, we'll catch up. You'll catch up. Peter and the other two disciples had been sound, sound asleep. All at once they woke up and saw how glorious Jesus was. They also saw the two men who were there with him. Moses and Elijah were about to leave. When Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. He says, it's good for us to be here. It's good for us to be here. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, be careful of people who try to steal your moment. Let us make how many? <laughs> Three shelters. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. This is why I love this, this uh, contemporary English version. It says here, but Peter did not know what he was talking about. Mm. You can see it in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Turn to your neighbor to your left and say, neighbor, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> And the person to your right said, neighbor, neighbor. I'm willing to bet you. They have no clue. They have no clue. What's happening? What's happening? Amen. As I mentioned, before mentioned in this hour and this season, and God is doing some extraordinary things in, in the earth realm and even in the church. But I think that if we're caught up in locking God in and just doing things routinely the same way every time we're going to miss what God is doing yes, because there, God is doing some new things mm -hmm. uh, if you're right if you're a note taker God is doing or going to do uh, two things in this hour number one he's going to do some things that are unprecedented Yes, unprecedented I'll give you a Bible the Bible says that uh, Peter and the disciples was in a storm and all the other disciples Thought Jesus was a ghost. Yeah. Amen. 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 Isn't it amazing how people, they man, can get in trouble and forget about God? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of seeking God, they forget about it. Not not remembering that He's a God of history, that if He brought you out before, yeah. He's gonna bring you out again. Yeah. 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 That was prophetic telling you there's a name if he did it before. He did it before. He gonna do it better this time. That's the twin me and you right there. Tell you there's a name if he did it before. He always like to outdo himself and do it better the next time. Yeah. So, say hallelujah. hallelujah. So he's going to do unprecedented things. Yeah. In this hour, in this season, Bishop Riddick, yes. he's going to do things at an, um, at, at an accelerated rate. Somebody shout accelerated rate. Yeah. Accelerated yeah. rate. Read Amos 9 and 13. I don't have time to. to <laughs> oh, some people have read that before. Uh, 9 and 13. Uh, but, but you got to read it in the. Uh, Message. Message. In the message version. Yes, Lord. 
uh, where it says that, that the plower and the reaper are going to overtake each other. Come on in here. Yeah. I'm telling you this, and you need to be ambidextric in this season. Yeah. Yeah. The word ambidextric is, you got it. The word ambidextric means you can use both hands. In other words, you're going to sow with one hand and reap with the other. Y'all ain't talking about that. Tell you that, and make sure you can use both hands. Because you're going to sow with one hand and reap with the other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm closing now. Oh, yeah. And so, doing the same things at an accelerated rate. Somebody shout unprecedented. Unprecedented. Accelerated. Accelerated. I'll give you another example. The Bible says that Jesus went to a wedding and they ran out of wine. Yeah, yeah. Jesus' mother went to him and said, They run out of wine. Watch this. He said, Woman, what do I have to do with this? Yeah. Watch this. The Bible says that he told him, He says, he says, fill the six water pots up with what? Water. 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 Yeah. Yes. And the Bible says, you know, story, they, they took it out, they took it to the banquet master, he tasted it, and when he tasted it, it was what? Wine. 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 My question to you is, what happened between them drawing it out and him tasting it? Something supernatural happened. Yeah, that's yes. right. Point number three, God is doing some supernatural stuff. Yes. 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 He's doing some supernatural stuff. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You, 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 you know that your, your bills outweigh your paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. And some of you in here living real good. I know because you're yeah. looking, come on, you're looking a little good there. You're not missing any meals. Amen. Yeah. I see y'all, y'all not missing any meals. How about it is, I'm not missing any meals. No, you're not missing any meals. Even with fasting. Amen. I know it's amazing. I know, I know he's recording this. Isn't it amazing? And then we'll say we on the Daniels fast. And then somebody, and so you can't eat meat on the Daniels fast. Right. So what people do, they still sin because they they sit there and eat a whole pot of greens. <laughs> amen, somebody. They'll sit there and eat, amen, about five or six plates of vegetables. Well, my question to you is, is that isn't that, isn't that gluttony? Yes. Yeah. Amen, somebody. So the idea is, is to put your flesh under subjection. Come That's on. Right. Yes, so any, even, anything that you do, you should do it in moderation. That's yes. right. I'm yes. preaching to myself. I'm trying to get delivered. I know I shop too much, but it's cool. It's all right. Oh, I'm working on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So they pull, they pull the water out. You taste it. Watch this. And it's turned to wine. Yes. Yeah. But my question to you is, what did Jesus tell his mother? He not said, it's time. not my time. Yeah. Well, apparently, Jesus did something. Watch this. Out of, watch this. Out of order because he did it and he said he wasn't going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. God is saying, I'm about to do some stuff for you <laughs> that you never thought I would do. Yeah. But because you obeyed me, yeah. I got to give you the miracle. Yeah. Am I preaching to anybody in here? That you're going to amaze God because you're going to obey God even when it's not favorable, even when it don't look like you. Oh, y'all no, ain't talking back to me. Yes. Yes. Put on your name's name. I'm going to obey God no matter what. Obey God no matter what. He says, now my time is still. He turns the water into wine. This is what I like about the text. And the Bible says, in the banquet master, I need five people to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the banquet master, watch this. He says, he said, listen. This is unusual. Yeah. He said, normally you give a man the good wine first. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then after people are intoxicated or inebriated, then you bring out, amen, the bad wine. He said, but you've done something that made me happy. Yeah, yeah. You get, come on in here, somebody. Tell your neighbor, God is saving the best for last. I can get no help you. Somebody should get excited right now. Because God said, hey, man, you've been on the back burner long enough. For you to have your coming out party. I don't tell you how far three people say this month is yes, Michael Goodman's birthday. But it's also my coming out month. Yes. Shout yes. hallelujah. Yes. So not only is it your birthday, month, yes. this is the month of supernatural manifestations in your yes. life. Yes. This is the month of supernatural doors opening. And I got to pause right here because I know that there's some people watching that are homiletically astute. I just got to put this in for the prophetic uh, impartation I want to make. The Bible says, amen, that Peter was in prison. Yeah. The people, I told you I was going to work that. People, amen, was in a place they was praying for Peter. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. They were praying earnestly. Oh, the Bible says earnestly yeah, for Peter. Yeah, yeah. Amen. amen. And so Peter, amen, is escorted out 
by an angel. Yeah. But the Bible says when I'm good, the Bible says when, when the angel gets Peter into the middle of the street, come on, yeah. he leaves Peter. Yeah. Yes. yes. Wait a minute now. <laughs> You get me out of prison only to leave. Yeah. Well, the next thing you read is, is that Peter walks up to the gate and it opens on his own. Yeah. I came to prophesy to anybody who catch me. God says, all you got to do is walk up to the door. It's going to open for you. Can I put the three people in here? It's been waiting for the door to open. God says, all you got to do is step up to it. Step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, step up to it. I, I got a four-year-old grandbaby. I got a four-year-old grandbaby. Her name is Brooklyn. So I said Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Right. So we're going in Walmart, mother. We're going in Walmart. So she runs ahead of me. She runs ahead of me. The door open. Then she walks back. She runs up to it. The door opens. Then she backs back. She door, the door opens again. She turns back and she says, Pop! Door open! <laughs> she got excited. So I said, okay, Brooklyn. So she's standing in the door, just walking back and walking back and forth. God says, she says, that's the way I'm about to do it for the faithful people. Yeah. He said, as many doors as you step up to, they're going to open for you. Yeah. The Bible, the scripture says, Bishop Riddick, the gate opened on its own accord. Yeah. I came to tell you that every adversary that was standing in your way, in your gate, in your door, God said they're about to be removed, about to walk into your prophetic destiny. Can I just be with somebody in the high yeah. lives of my neighbor? Get ready to go into your prophetic yeah. destiny. Yeah. 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 The door opens up. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. The gate opens yeah. on his own. Yeah. Watch this. And the Bible says, I got a fast call. The Bible says, and then he goes, he knocks on the gate, on the door to the gate. The girl Rhoda comes to the door. And then the Bible says, watch this. He's knocking, but the text says, uh, she hears Peter's voice. Yeah, yeah. Preachers, help me out. Yes, sir. I'm lost. Mm. He's knocking. Yeah, yeah. But the text says she hears his voice. I don't understand. I said prophetically, he said, your sound is going to sound like your voice. He said, every sound you make, people that are assigned to you are going to know it's you. You want to put on your name and say, neighbor, God is about to assign some people, amen, to your purpose. They're about to assign some people, amen, to underwrite your vision. I'm putting some people out there that own business. God said, I'm about to send some financiers, amen, to underwrite your vision. God get rid of get, get rid of the need for banks yeah. for Thank the saints yeah. because he's, he's about to put people in our company they got more money than they know what to do with yeah. and they gonna ask you how much you need yeah. but the problem is if you have not counted up the cost you can't give them an accurate figure I already know how much I need to be debt free come on and hear somebody tell me this neighbor when you go home. Write down all of your bills. Yeah, yeah. So when they ask you, you can give them an accurate figure. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on with it. part about she goes, prophet. And she, she says, Peter's out there. And the Bible says that they call her crazy. They said, you, you got to be crazy. That, that must be an angel. My question to you is, how many people that are praying for you but not praying for your deliverance? Oh, right. Right. Jesus. Oh, bishop, bishop. Because if they was that spiritual, watch this, they would have known, amen, that their prayer, the right prayer of the righteous, yeah. of valid much. Yeah. So here's here's my problem. They didn't believe in their own prayers. Because mm. if somebody come and tell me, glory to God, amen, that Bishop Riddick really just got made a millionaire, I believe. Come on in here. Yeah. 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 How many people don't believe that you're really coming out? Yeah. Yeah. They're praying, but they ain't believing that you're coming out. But God said, don't worry about them. He said, because you're going to shock them all. Yeah. He said, because when you step on the scene, they're going to have no clue where you come from. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Yeah. But God wanted that way. Yes. Because I told you, he's saving the best for life. Yes. For life. Good, Bishop. Yes. He's saving yes. the best for life. Yes. Those of us who've been in the background for years, yes. God says, I'm about to thrust you on the scene. Jesus. He didn't want the devil, amen, to track you all of your life. Come on yes. in here. He said, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to blow you on the scene. Watch this instantaneously. Yeah. So those of you in here, amen, you know your old God of praise because he said, watch this. When you step up on the platform, they'll have no idea where you came from. Yeah. But let's go back to the text. I'm going to come back to the substratum of the theological point. The Bible says that the banquet master knew not where the wine came from. 
There are some people who won't I keep coming back with you. There are some people who won't have a clue where you came from. Jesus. But you was on the scene all the time. But God had you shrouded in obscurity to protect you. The Bible says, come on in here. The Bible says that Moses' mother put him, watch this, in a basket. And, and, and that was pitched with tar and put him in a Nile River. But the Nile River, watch this, due to the historical context, the Nile River was full of alligators yes, and snakes yes, and all of that. Yes. And you would have thought that it was more dangerous for him to be in the Nile than, than, than him to be in the hands of Pharaoh. But God, amen, has hid us. Come on in here. Yes. We've had some tears. Yes. We've had some setbacks. Yes. We've had some failures. Yes. We've made some mistakes. Yes. But God says, through all that, I'm hiding. Hallelujah. All right. Tell me that God's been hiding me. Yes. But now it's time for God to release me into my prophetic destiny. I'm not trying to get you to do spiritual exercise, but five of y'all are to jump up and shout, this month is my month of coming out. Yeah. God is about to snatch the soul of my life. He's about to snatch the cover off you, and they will have no idea where you came from. Somebody shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Yes. Yes. Working, Bishop. The Bible says, Bible says, watch this. Eight days. Uh, that, that Jesus took Peter, John, and James, you know the boys. He took them uh, to a mount as he prayed. And the Bible says that while he was praying, his appearance was transformed or transfigured. Uh, uh, Mike, Pastor Mike, and then he's a praying man. He, he, he prays. He, he gets in the face of God. And God says because of that, he know him by name. Yes. Whenever God knows you by name, mm. catch this for five people that would understand this prophetically, anytime God knows you by name, he has the ability to put your name in the minds of other people. Yes. 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 I'm all over the Bible, but so right work with me. The Bible says a man that, that he that the king went to sleep, uh, but he couldn't sleep. And, and, and the Bible says he woke up and he says, uh, bring me the, the Chronicles, the, the Anal, which was the book. Amen. They, they wrote stuff down in. And he said, what has been done for the man, watch this, that, that blessed me to save my life? Yes. I came to prophesy to just three people. God says he's about to put your name in the mind of your supervisor. Hallelujah. 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 God says I'm about to put your name in the minds of the people at city council. Yes. I'm about to put your name in the people, amen, that has keys to the doors, amen, that you want to walk through. What are you saying, Bishop David? They won't sleep until they bless you. Yeah. Tell your neighbor and say, neighbor, they won't be able to rest until they deliver to me what God has for me. The Bible says he went up Mount Praise and while he was there, his face changed, his clothes became shining white. The Bible says suddenly Moses and Elijah were there speaking with him. Uh, preachers, you know, uh, Moses represents what the law, Elijah uh, for the prophets. I won't deal with that. The Bible says, watch this. They appeared to him in heavenly glory and talked to him about Jesus' transfer transformation or well, his his transition to death. Watch this. 32 says, walk with me, 32. Peter and the other two disciples had been asleep. Uh -huh. Wait a minute now. Life, don't ever let your pastor pray if you sleep. Amen. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Yeah. Don't let your pastor go on a fast and you eating up everything. Yeah. I can't get no help from Jesus. Yeah. Don't ever let your pastor be out at the church and you at the mall. They, Pastor Sam, was asleep and Jesus was praying. Yeah. They were supposed to have been his armor bearers. Yeah. His attitude. That's why at this day and time, amen. I mean, it's 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 it's, 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 it's interesting, amen. That that we used to have all the entourage around us. You know, preacher come yeah. and, and and he take up like fifty seats in the church for all the armor bearers. Well, he or she came to the understanding, glory to God, that if your anointing is that fragile, something wrong. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. But the Bible says you get that next week. But the Bible says that they were. Asleep. Yeah, asleep. Mm -hmm. Jesus is praying and they sleep. And the Bible says that when they awoke, they saw Moses and Elijah about to leave. Yes. Point of emphasis, they missed the whole thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because they were asleep. 
Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor, don't miss this season. Don't, don't miss this season. Being sleepy. Being sleepy. Yes. 2019 was the year to sleep. Uh -huh. 2020 is the year of expectation. Yes. Yeah. 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 If I was you, I'd be on the edge of my seat right now. I know you yeah. think I'm crazy, but God says it's prophetic. I would be sitting on the edge of my seat saying, Lord, what you going to do next? I'm not jealous of anybody. I ain't hating on nobody. Because if he did it for them, tell me they are next. You ain't saying it like you mean it. I said, neighbor, you next. You next. I said, help your neighbor. I said, neighbor. Say, neighbor. You next. You next. Bible says that they had been sound asleep. Yeah. 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 That deep sleep where you're snoring, where you're starving, yeah. where you're just, just, just deep sleep. And all at once, they woke up and saw a glorious Jesus as he was. In other words, they missed the. <laughs> Come on, get the mic, bro. They missed the process. Of his transformation. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I just told you that they they're not gonna know what you went through That's right. in the 12 months of 2019. Right. All they gonna know is you saw him showing up in 2020. Yeah. Look at fabulous. But what they don't know is for 12 months yeah. you went through pure hell. Come on, God. And then they don't know that you went from paycheck to paycheck. They don't know that you do endure people lying on you and talking about you. They have no idea that oh my God, I'm feeling it here. They had no idea you want to leave church and never come back. And it had nothing to do with God. Yeah. But you got tired of people smiling in your face and lying behind your back. Oh, y'all ain't talking about it. Y'all don't want to talk about it. You got tired of seeing people in there speaking in tongues and won't speak to you. The text says that for whatever reason, I'm not going to add to the text, for whatever, whatever reason, Pastor Sam, they didn't wake up until the process was complete. Come on, Come on, Come on Bishop. Yeah. Prophet, they didn't wake up until he was gloriously white. <laughs> they didn't wake up until Goodman was 33. Where were they when, when you were 29? You were 27, you were 26, you were 25, you were 24. But now all of a sudden you show up on the scene at 33. Gifted and anointed. Yes, I'm all in here, right? I, I ought to get some more witnesses there. All of a sudden, 33, brother of God, he prophesying things. Watch this. Watch this that only God knew. Yes, Asking him, where have I been? He was there all the time. Uh oh. Thank God for thank God for security back then. Like, he he been here all the time, but the problem is, I feel like going old school back to Gloucester State right here. The problem is, he was there all the time, but you were steep. Oh, yeah. he, yeah. uh, he, was, he was there all the time, but you were sleeping on him. Yes. But isn't it wonderful that God has a way yes. of the watch this, of designating the appropriate time for you to come out? Yes. Yes. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. God told me to tell you God. that whatever you were going through, it's time, it's time to come out. Y'all remember the old school that we used to come out? Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. The Holy Ghost told me to tell God of y'all to get ready. It's time to come out. Can you hug on your neighbor? I said, hug on your neighbor. Hug on your neighbor's and neighbor. God told me to tell you that whatever it was that was keeping you bound, it's time to come out. Is there anybody in here sitting his head back? Anybody in here you've been depressed? God told me to tell you it's time. 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 It
Thank you, Jesus. Until the process was over. Yeah. Wait, I'm done, let's stand up. It, it says here that when he awoke, he was already shy. Mm. Mm. It's almost like you going to the mall and buying a 24 karat mm. gold necklace. You have no idea what it took to get that gold out of the dirt. Yeah. Jesus. Put it in the furnace. Mm. Come on in here. Leave it in the furnace. Yeah. Jesus. And then put it back in the furnace. Because mm. yeah. it's still got impurities in it. That's right. Yeah. You do know the difference between 18, 14, 18, yeah. and 24 karat That's gold. Right. The yeah. only difference between the 24 and the 14 is, is how long the 24 stayed in the fire. Yeah. Uh, come on, come on. My God. Some of us in mm. here, mm. we're shining. Jesus. Because we've been through that process. Yeah. Been through the process. Got kicked out of the Baptist church. Mm. Mm. Talk about it, Bishop. Took me to court for three and a half years. Drained all my wife's 401k trying to pay legal fees. Mm. Yeah. I asked the Lord, said, Lord, why are you doing this to me? Yes. He said, because if I had told you ahead of time, you would have never done it. Ah, oh my God. Sometimes God is hiding some stuff from y'all. Yes. Not to discourage you. He said, but because if I show you the whole thing, yes. you won't go through the process. Yes. Yes. And to be anointed is all about the process. The process. Yes. Yes. It's all about going through the fire and the flood and not getting drowned or burned up. Yes. Three Hebrew boys came out of that thing. Yes. Mm. Watch this. And the Bible said that the people that threw them in Consumed. Got consumed. Jesus. But they came out. They came out. Not one hair on their head was sensed. Right. I came to tell you, my beloved, as I close my sermon. Jesus. That the process is about getting you to your divine destiny. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The Bible says they woke up. Hey Amen. Jesus was already shining. Watch this. And the Bible says that Peter now gets in his flesh. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He said, Master. He said, let's build three tabernacles, three tents. All right, three tents. What is a tent? It's something that you can pull up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's yeah. something that's temporary. Yeah. Yeah. There are too many people trying to make a, a moment, a movement <laughs> out of a moment. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't that wasn't what Jesus was supposed to say. Yeah. But still, Peter wanted to keep him there because watch this, it was good for Peter. Yes. Don't let people ride. Don't let people ride your personality, your anointing, Jesus. Lord of God, and want to take credit for it. The devil is alive. Jesus. High five your name and say, neighbor, if I go through this process, nobody gets the glory but God. Nobody gets the glory but God. Thank you, Jesus. Watch this. Read it. It's good for us to be here. Yeah. Mm. He ain't went through no process. He was asleep. Yeah. But he put us in there. Mm. Yes. Don't let people include themselves in your destiny. Mm. If they can't be with you in the gutter, they can't get, get with you on the mountain. Y'all quiet. If you can't Amen. be with me in the valley, you can't be Amen. with me on the mountaintop. Amen. If you can't celebrate me when I'm down and I'm out, don't celebrate me. Watch this. When God bring me to my appointed place. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor, you won't get on the van wherever you get on it with, it with me when I'm down, when I'm out. Right. Come on, Amen. when I need Amen. some prayer, when I need Amen. some help, when I need somebody to tell me you ain't crazy, what you're saying is really of God. Yes. yes. Let us. Help us, Lord. Build three times now. Jesus. And the Bible says that a voice spoke. Hear him. But this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. God's well pleased. Amen. Yes, amen. And if you read it in the contemporary English version, it goes like this. Peter did not know what he was talking about. There are some people in y'all lives, they don't know what they're talking about. Yes, don't know. They don't have, they don't have no clue. I'm going to help somebody out just watching. Via social media. they telling you God going to send you around the world. When God may not send you around the world, but he may send you to your family. He may not send you to China, but he's going to send you to the other side of Portsmouth where you really need it at. The people in China don't know you, but God wants you to be the Moses of your family to bring people out that's stuck in depression, that's stuck in poverty. Tell somebody, say, name of your family needs you most. Your family needs you most. Text says, they get up, they leave. But the Bible says right here that they never told anybody what happened. There's some people in your life, they're going to see it. 
They're going to know what happened. Mm -hmm. But God ain't going to allow them to tell nobody. Mm -hmm. Because he don't want them to find out via Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He don't want them to find out social media. Yes. What he want to do is, he want to bring you on the scene. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And everybody know it was God that brought you out of this. Yes. Yes. Won't you lift your hands this morning? Yes. As I take my seat. Yes. I came to preach to a Pastor Mike, but for you, yes. for Pastor Mike. Hallelujah. Life. Don't let the process go by and you not be in the trenches with it. Amen. Don't, don't let it go through. Watch this. The struggle and the strain of ministry. Amen. And you not help him carry the weight. Y'all body now. Amen. Don't let him walk in here and wonder, should I pay the church bill or should I, should I pay my bill? Been there, done that. I've been there when I walk in the church and the church got lights. And I go home and flip the switch. I got no life because my wife paid the church bill before they paid mine. Y'all quiet in here. I walked in the church, prophet, went to the bathroom, mm. washed my fan, hands and my face because the church had water when I had no water. Mm. My God. Tell your name, say neighbor. Neighbor. Be with me through the process. Be with, Be with me through, through the process. process. And we'll all magnify the Lord together. Yeah. We'll all magnify the Lord together. Hallelujah. I speak to somebody out there that has been going through a season of depression and I want to let you know that the season of depression is over because God has appointed this day the day of you coming out of depression yes. God says to you that the enemy has been trying to take you out he said but his hand has been on you the whole time he said be not weary and well doing for you shall reap if you faint not he told Peter this and this is prophecy to somebody out there he said Peter I pray that your faith fill it not. Yes. I didn't understand that text because I said Jesus was Jesus. He could have just spoke, amen, and commanded, amen, the process of Peter going through, being sifted by the enemy, yeah. null and void. Yes. There are some things he won't cancel, mm -hmm. but he'll be with you while you're going through. Yes. Yes. There are some fires he won't extinguish, Jesus. but he promised to walk with you through the fire. Thank you, Lord. So as I close, know that God is going with you through the fire. And he's about to extinguish that because even trouble got a, an expiration date. Amen. And I prophesy your trouble is over. God bless you. I want you to hear in the sanctuary. Lift your hands. Yes. Light.